Hey everyone, it's uh, Jack, Ollie's TV. It's the night after the day before, after the Lord's Mayor's Parade, which didn't go what we wanted it to go. Um, but, again, conceded a load of goals. Conceded a load of goals. All right, thank you. That's Charlotte there. She's just running and tell me she's finished her dairy milk anyway, but we'll get back to it, yeah. I don't think she's right bothered about what's going on. We'll leave in a minute. Um, but yeah, conceded a lot of goals again. Um, I don't want to speak too much about what's happened yesterday because this is a Liverpool preview. But I think the defending, at, it, it, well, not at the minute. I think all year long it's been it's been naive. It's It's awful. You know what I mean? The the first goal yesterday, Maguire, you watch it and Lorente is not even looking at the ball. He's just more interested in what Maguire's doing. You can't defend like that. It's 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 scandalous, it's scandalous. But again, I do think overall, I think three of the goals that we conceded yesterday could have been avoided with better better defending. And that's that's it. But that's that's been and gone. But the reason why I'm bringing that up is because we're playing a team on Wednesday who are going forward a far superior to what we played yesterday. And if I'm being honest, I'm 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 frightened. I think it we it could be four or five very, very easy. If we play with the same sort of tactics. Um it's like it's 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 one of them. I mean, even yesterday we're going back to two all. Yeah, I get we're in the ascendancy. And we we we've got to go for it, but I still think that the game management needs to be better. You know, hold on, we've just got back from two 0 down, conceding on half time, which is the worst time ever to concede a goal, and then we score two quick goals. Which, as a fan, yesterday, if you were at the game, you'll know how it felt. It was one of the most unbelievable feelings ever. I mean, me myself. I didn't realize the second one had gone in because I was celebrating that much and and. Fucking give it toast at scum fans that I didn't even realise we scored again and I'm like, what's going on? And Tasha had to say to me, well, she didn't have to say to me, I just looked on her floor, trying to drag her back up that we'd scored again. But we can't we can't just keep doing this. It's it's like there's a saying there, isn't there? You know, the first sign of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. And this is what we're doing every week. You know, we can, last year, it's like you say, with a breath of fresh air, we, we just went at teams and went at teams. And it would it were great, you know, fans weren't in stadium or all like that, but we were all watching on telly and it would it were great to watch. But so many games this year, you just, you look and you think, what, you know, just please, just manage the game better. You know, I'm, as, as I said yesterday, I'm, I'm, when we played Liverpool on um, on Wednesday, he, he, for me, he has to start Gelda. He has to he has to freshen things. He's got to freshen things up. I mean, that was an hard pitch there. That second half, and it took a lot out of them players. And it took a hell of a lot out of them players because the pitch were heavy, the rain, everything, and they give everything. They give everything, which I will not. They they did give everything, but obviously the quality between the two sides shown in the end. But we're playing a different animal completely on Wednesday, and I, and I just it, it just it, it, I am I am a bit worried if I'm true for I me. Mean, I always live in hope and anticipation that we can get a result, and no matter where we go, but I think the reality is I think we know that Liverpool probably could could and probably will shove maybe four or five past us with how we are defending at the minute. You know, um, I've seen a couple of things. From the game Sunday as well, I think it, I, I forget which player it won now, and it's this man marking thing that Bielsa insists on. And we had a tallest centre half who was probably Strauk, and it were from Maguire's goal. He's actually on the edge of the box, looking at McTominay. He's probably that's what the tactics have been. He's got to mark this player, but I don't think I think. Again, people probably slag me off here and say, well, what do you know? Bielsa knows more than you. Yeah, he does. But I also have two eyes. And I can see that, hold on, you, you have your best centre-halves and your biggest, 
biggest people in the box to win the header, to edit away. You know, you, it's, it's baffling and it's confusing at times when I, I, I do watch what it is. Um, I mean, again, he just needs to put the best players out. I mean, it's like when you bring Geld out on, it gives everyone a lift. And I think it gives them players a lift as well because they'll train with him every day. And he reminds me of when Wayne Rooney came on scene and he was just fearless. 17 year old, he didn't care whether you were an England international, whether you did had 200 caps for Brazil. You were just a human being, you were just a player. And he thought, I can, I can do what I can do. And, and Geldart reminds me of that. And I think he just needs letting off at least now. He does. He needs more minutes. He needs to be just played. And I think Liverpool on Wednesday night is the perfect time. Just give him the full 90 minutes. Then give him the full 90 minutes against Tottenham. But again, I'm going to go back to the defensive things, which is worrying me because we're playing Salah, Mane and Firmino. And they're probably the best front three in the Premier League, um, and I think defensively we just uh, that's that's the key. It's defensively because then you've also got Trent Alexander Arnold and Andy Robertson will be bombing up and down them lines, providing extra width and extra attack for the movement that Liverpool have. This this is why it's it's worrying because Liverpool are far superior to them that we played yesterday, uh, Sunday, whenever you're watching this, uh, far superior. The far superior. I mean, it's like when you when you think about it now. Obviously, the, the results at the weekend with City getting beat by Tottenham, Liverpool are back in it now. So Liverpool are going to be fired up. They're going to know right. We need this win tonight. I don't know what the goal difference is between City and and Liverpool, but they'll be looking. Look, I, you know, we 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 need to beat these and beat these comfortably. You know, so that's why it's it's it is worrying. It's worrying. It's worrying, but. You can look at things as much as you want and you can look at it and, you know, and I'm, this might be controversial here, but you can look at Bielsa now and think, is he getting it wrong? Is he getting it wrong? You know what I mean? We can't just keep... We literally concede on average three goals a game. That is not good enough, you know what I mean? It's, we can't just keep going and going and going at teams like we do. We, you know, it's suicide and it's proving it every single week at the minute. Um, oh God, it's just you hope for the best of the Leeds fan, don't you? I mean, I'm not going on Wednesday. Tasha's going, so I'm sure there'll be a fan cam and you'll see see that. Um, but you just hope for the best. But at the minute in time, I'm I'm really worried, and obviously we've got Tottenham on Saturday. But that's the one where I think we could probably get a point. We could really get a point against Tottenham at, at Ellen Road. But I'm going to be truthful. I don't want to sound defeatist all that, but I just I do fear the worst Wednesday night. I do. I don't think it's going to be a very, very comfortable night for the players and also for us as Leeds fans. I think it could be quite disastrous, if I'm being honest, because of, um, obviously, the, the game Sunday. Emotionally, it probably took a lot out of them. But also physically, I think it took a lot out of them because it was a, a very, very hard day, as in weather-wise and the pitch. I mean, the, you'll have been watching there and it would, the, the, the ball had bounced and there'd be more water actually flying up in the air than what the water, than where the ball went. Uh, I don't know what more to say really about it. It's just my honest opinion, as I said, but I don't think Bielsa needs to get this one right. I think it just needs to be more game management. I think he needs to just if if we are in with a shout, we, you know, just see the game out. You know, it'd be miraculous if we could get a point. But if we were in with a chance of getting a point, bring a defender on, take an attacker off, and just see the game out. Kick the ball sixty yards up the pitch because at the end of the day, it's not no one remembers oh they played well against them, but they were unlucky because that don't matter. It's points what matter, and at the minute. No matter how we play, we're not getting the points. So, I mean, you can leave your comments. Um, leave what you think of what I've said. You know, it's obviously it's there. That's we all have different opinions. And I've, I have no problem with anyone saying, no, I think you're wrong. Or this, that and the other. But it's just my 
honest opinion. I think just game management. For me, game management on Wednesday, just just have 10 men behind the ball and see if we could just get a lucky, a lucky counter-attack, a lucky break, because we can't keep playing the way that we are playing at the minute, and we can't. But we'll still be there, won't we? <laughs> we'll still be supporting them, and, and that's it. Yeah, come on.